today's topic is about nutraceuticals this word was coined from two words that is nutrition and pharmaceutical nutrition that is very helpful to for the growth of the body as well as to prevent any disease pharmaceutical means we are taking different kind of drug basically purpose that is to prevent or cure the disease so definition of nutraceutical it is a one kind of food that provide medical or health benefit including the prevention and or treatment of the disease further another definition is considered as a, a product isolated or purified from foods that is generally sold in medicinal form not usually associated with the food sometime we are commonly taking some food stuff in a particular disease so particular nutrient from the food stuff is isolated and that is utilized as a treatment or prevention of the disease and that particular nutrient which is used as a therapeutic effect that is called nutraceuticals so the nutraceutical attempt to accomplish desirable therapeutic outcome with reduced or no side effect as compared with the other therapeutic agents or the drug now these nutraceuticals need extensive scientific study to prove that they have medicinal effect or drug like effect with reduced or no side effect some example of the approved nutraceutical are particularly plant sterol or soy protein and grain products with soluble fiber which have shown effect over the reduced coronary heart disease and it is commonly utilized at present calcium which we are given mostly in older age to prevent osteoporosis for the fruit and vegetables arc are also utilized for the treatment as well as for the prevention of the cancer along with the some other drugs of cancer folic acid is worldwide accepted to prevent neural tube defect and it is given to each and every pregnant lady these all are the best example of the nutraceuticals further resveratrol from grape and flavonoids from citrus are working as a antioxidant one more important that is omega 3 fatty acid in fish oil has shown lowered risk factor for the cardiovascular disease so it is also given wherever the risk factor of the cardiovascular disease so a dietary supplement is a product that contain nutrient derived from the food products that are concentrated in liquid or capsule form so mostly this nutrient or important nutrient are separated or derived from this food and that is concentrated in liquid or capsule form and that is utilized same as a drug so they may include vitamins minerals herbs amino acid or different metabolites from that food stuff so functional food are either enrich or fortified and that process of enriching that food stuff that is called nutrification so apart from that separating of a particular nutrient sometime that nutrient is externally added to that food stuff so here this practice of adding of nutrition restore the nutrient content in a food back to similar level from before the food was processed sometime additional complementary nutrients are added such as vitamin d is added to meal to avoid vitamin d deficiency athletes use a variety of nutritional ergogenic foods to enhance their performance and it is commonly found in various competition of the athletes carbohydrate consumed immediately before or after exercise has shown enhanced performance by increasing glycogen storage as well as delaying of the fatigue so it is also useful for the athletes as well as particular sports person now sometime protein and amino acid supplementation may serve as a anabolic role and it is also utilized for most of the sports person dietary antioxidants such as vitamin c e and carotenes that is vitamin a may prevent oxidative stress that occurs with the intense exercise so along with the nutrient supplement that is vitamin c e and vitamin a is also taken performance during high intensity exercise such as sprinting may be improved with short term creatine loading simple in the muscles the one of the important high energy molecule that is creatine phosphate so for that creatine is needed so when this creatine is supplemented it is shown effect or beneficial effect for the high intensity exercise furthermore caffeine before exercise delay fatigue as well as enhance the performance of that sports person so so many times it is misused when there is a competition between athletes or the sports person so that's all about the nutraceuticals